This is the Podcast Ignition Big List. This is really the engine that is behind all of the things that you're doing to push your podcast out and get your message to the masses. This is such a nice way to keep track of really everything. I mean, we've got your website, your Dropbox folder, who your VA is, all the different sizes of media that you need. Um, so we provide as much of that information that we know, and then you can put your easy quick links, your um, podcast ignition system, the Poise login. Um, if you use free app, you can link that, but you can just use this, change it as you want to. It has all the design specs. So anytime you need to refer back to this and quickly paste it somewhere else, you've got your color numbers for your branding. Uh, you've got your image sizes of what sizes you need everything, your, uh, your graphic designer and your production assistant. This is going to be information that's really helpful. This is also really helpful during the setup phase. So if you have access to this big list um, right now, even before you go through any of the processes, you can see here hot links to different show directories. And you can see, is my podcast on there? How do I add it? as well as some other notes about getting added and requesting features, which is kind of down in this section over here, other directories. Uh, you can see we've made notes where it pulls from iTunes, if the destination's ad added by Libsyn. The really cool thing is, is that once you're added to these directories, once you've entered your RSS feed link, which our process will show you step-by-step -step how to do that, but once you do that, you don't have to do it again. So you're, you're set it, forget it. So um, but then you can also over on the left, you can see here, you can add uh, usernames and passwords and things like that to uh, keep track of all that. Um, so that's the login and web specs uh, page or tab. The next one is the podcast profile. And really that's the first thing you wanna do is just go through this um, and enter the information. Now, if you sit down and do this, don't feel like you need to do it perfectly. You just need it done. And you can add it to your calendar to re, you know, take another look at it and update it as you go, but just don't wait, get this done. Uh, and then here it's got podcast description cutoffs. So as you're writing up these descriptions, you can update that as well. And then as you're adding your podcast to directories, it's gonna be consistent. Again, we're going for consistency, messaging, and staying on brand. The next tab, this is just a worksheet that I did. I don't know if this is helpful for you, but I included it just in case you want to just figure out like how much is this overall costing so you can figure out your ROI. What you're gonna find is that if you really follow our system and leverage it as a way to build your revenue, you're going to be getting an amazing ROI on this. And also in the time that you're saving, you'll be able to recoup anything that you're spending on your podcast very quickly. So the other thing I have is this is our keyword map worksheet that we use. You don't have to use this. These last two tabs are just kind of helpful things that I like and wanted to share it with you in the big list. It's in our, it's in our big list as well. So, um, but when, as you're adding podcast episodes and, you know, whether you're using show notes or, or blog pages or a combination of both, you don't want to reuse keywords more than once. So this is kind of a good way to make sure that you're, you're not duplicating up. So first thing you want to do though, you want to enter your, your um, specs and your podcast profile absolutely mandatory to do your podcast profile and highly, highly recommended to update your web specs and have fun and let us know if you have any.